Welcome to Olivia's Blooms. If you are new to my channel, I'm gardening in Charlottesville, Virginia, Zone 7B. I'm a home gardener who loves growing my own cut flowers and home decor with a focus on sustainable, regenerative, and eco-friendly practices. But most importantly, I'm here to support, share with, and learn from other gardeners. So I hope you will join me in growing this amazing gardening community. Hey guys, welcome back to Olivia's Blooms. Today we are planting up just some beautiful, easy spring pots. I'm so excited to get some spring color. It is beginning of April and the first pot I'm gonna make, I've been planning for a while and it's just an easy edible herb and lettuce pot. And it's gonna, I think, provide some beautiful color and some edible goodies for the next month or so. And then I'll probably have to switch it out. And then I'm gonna do a front shade pot that my husband can look at out the window while he's working during the day. And that one I'm hoping will last the full season. So first let me show you the edible pot I'm gonna make back here. Here are our ingredients for the pot. And you can see I've been hydrating all of these, but these are all things I grew from seed and soil blocks, really inexpensive. I have these low growing purple basil and the color and the scent is just stunning on this. And then I just have a mix of lettuce. I'm also gonna be adding two different types of thyme. This dark green one right here is lemon thyme. And man, I wish you guys could smell this. It's so lemony. I can't wait to use that in cooking. And then this beautiful, hopefully you can see the variegation. It's called Silver Edge Thyme, and it smells and tastes just like the classic French thyme, but has a beautiful silvery look to it. So let's get these arranged in the pot. Here's the pot we'll be working with, and I'm gonna put it right out here on our deck table so that the herbs and the lettuce are easily accessible. And I can just run out here and snip off a little bit whenever I need. So I topped it up with some fresh potting soil. I had a Valentine's arrangement in here, but the arrangement wasn't in here very long, so the soil really didn't need too much. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of fertilizer, just a sprinkling of the Biotone Starter Fertilizer. Now what I'm gonna do is I want the basil to be the centerpiece. And it's small now, but it should grow a nice big mound here. So I'm gonna start with, let's say, I think I'm gonna do three basil right in the center. And that's another reason I love soil blocks is you just pop them in so easily. And I'm gonna give them a little bit of room because I am hoping to keep these in here throughout the summer. Now, one thing you'll notice is that basil is a warm season herb. Thyme, well, it can handle the, the heat as well, but the lettuce really isn't gonna last too long. It really likes the cool weather. I probably have about another month with the lettuce. So what I'll do is once I'm done eating the lettuce, I will either add a warm season um, herb or vegetable in here, or I can take these things out, put them out in my vegetable garden, and then put plant a whole new set of plants in here. But I definitely am gonna get at least a month out of this. So now I'm going to place the lettuce around the edge, and I'm gonna try and alternate. So I'm gonna try and do a green, a more purple hue, and I'm not gonna be eating these for head lettuce, so you can plant them really close together um, like four to six inches apart if you're just gonna be eating the leaves, which is what I plan on doing with these. I do have some lettuce out in the vegetable garden that I'll be using for head lettuce. And then I think I'll use this beautiful thyme. And you would just wanna make sure that all of the roots are surrounded by soil. I'm gonna angle this one out. This one has a particularly large root ball on it. So I'm just gonna angle this one out, let it grow sort of this way. You know what, I think I might even wanna flip it a bit more. Yeah, that's pretty. Here's 
here's the pot all planted up. I'm gonna water it in and I think it looks beautiful like this, but it's gonna look even more and more beautiful as that basil takes off and fills out the middle and the lettuce and the thyme get bigger. The thyme probably won't get too much bigger, but I think that's fine. And I will keep you guys updated on how this looks as it grows over the next month. But let's go tackle my front pot now. All right, here we are in my front porch, and this is the pot that sits right outside the window next to the office that my husband works from home in. And his favorite color is purple, so I use that as the inspiration. Now this is in full shade, so I had to make sure I got full shade plants. And I'll show you the ones I picked, and then we will go ahead and pot them up. I did just refresh the soil a little bit. This soil is very old. It's a couple years old. We had plants in here all season long last year. So I took out the top foot or so. I added some more Biotone starter fertilizer, and I topped it up with some fresh potting soil. So the big tall centerpiece for this plant is going to be a colocasia, also known as an elephant ear, and it's gonna be this nice, tall, green, tropical looking centerpiece. So this is what it looks like now. So we have a ways to go before we see some of that beauty, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this in first, right in the center, and it's gotta go pretty deep. So that's another reason why I wanna do this one first. And these are pretty heavy feeders. So that's another reason why I wanted to start off with some new fresh soil. And for these, you want to go about, oh, it's windy today. You want to make sure the top of the bulb is at least an inch or two below the top of the soil. So I think we're there. Okay, next, I grabbed some of these fluffy white begonias because those flowers are so pretty and I loved the dark leaves on them. And begonias did really well in our pot last year. And then I also could not resist this peachy begonia. I mean, that color, could you resist that? I couldn't. And I thought this would go well with the purple I mentioned. So we picked these variegated sweet potato vines. See the little purple edge on the leaves there? And that's this was really my inspiration for the pot. And so because the leaves have a little bit of white, I thought the white begonias would look great with them. So I'm just gonna be dotting those around the edge. And the um, sweet potato vine is just gonna cascade over the side, which I think is gonna be a nice contrast to the tall center. And then the last thing I got, I think I'll put this over here, is a dark purple hoogra. I love hoogra. And because this is in full shade and we may not have blooms all the time, I really wanted to make sure we'd have that interesting leaf structure with the sweet potato vine, with the hoogra, and then with the tall um, colocasia or elephant ear. So that way my husband always has something nice to look out, out at. So I think what I'll do is let me arrange these how I like. Another thing I love about the hoogra is they are perennial in most areas. And so when I'm done with this pot, I'll just plant this out in our landscape to go with our other ones. And you'll have to excuse the wind, it's very windy here today. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna put this one in first because it has such a large root ball. It'll be easier to plant this and then the little root balls around it. So let's get this planted. There's the finished pot. It's beautiful to look at now, but it's gonna be even more stunning as these plants fill in, cascade over, and that colocasia comes out of the top. I think I could even fit one more plant right here, and I'm not gonna say no to a space where I can fit a plant, so I'll have to go see, look around the stores and see maybe another hookah right there would be perfect. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab another one of those. 
But thanks for making these fun spring pots with me today, guys. I hope you had as much fun in my garden as I did. Thanks.